Today is the first Sunday in Lent, and as we will experience a liturgy, it will have some differences than what we're used to, and it's done by design. We are going to begin by entering into Lent on this first Sunday with the Great Litany, which was first written about 500 years ago by Archbishop Thomas Cranmer at the tail end of the reign of King Henry VIII, moving just shortly after his death, and it was incorporated in the first Book of Common Prayer. It is truly an all-encompassing prayer, and as we enter into it, it should really help set the tone for Lent. Since it's our main service and we have our wonderful choir, we're actually going to chant this, and it's noted in your bulletin. And then um, the second part of our, our worship, the part that is the Eucharistic prayer, will continue in that theme for today. Uh, the worship in the coming weeks will have a slightly different feel, but I can talk about that at a different time. So I invite you now to join in the Great Litany. It is, as I said, all-encompassing, which is another word for long. And, and so one of the ideal postures for this type of prayer is to kneel, but not everybody is able to kneel that long. So I encourage you to find the posture that is best for you, either kneeling or sitting as we begin this. As you can see, there will be no procession. So in just a moment, um, I, will, I will begin and we will join together in this chanted prayer. O oh God, the Father, O oh Creator of heaven and earth, have mercy on us. O oh God, the Son, Redeemer of the world, have mercy on us. O oh God, the Holy Ghost, sanctifier of the faithful, have mercy on us. O oh Holy, blessed, and glorious Trinity, one God, have in the hour of 
Lord God, and that it may please thee to rule and govern thy holy church universal in the right way. We beseech thee to hear us, O Lord, that it may please thee to illumine all bishops, priests, and deacons with true knowledge and understanding of thy word, and that both by their preaching and living they may set it forth and show it accordingly. We beseech thee to hear us, O Lord, that it may please thee to bless and keep all of thy people. We beseech thee to hear us, O Lord, that it may please thee to send forth laborers into thy harvest and to draw all mankind into thy kingdom. to 
done Satan under our feet. We beseech thee to hear us, the Lord, that it may please thee to grant to all the faithful departed eternal life and peace. We beseech thee to hear us, the Lord, that it may please thee to grant in the fellowship of all the saints we may attain to thy heavenly kingdom. We beseech thee to hear us, O Lord. Son of God, we beseech thee to hear us. Son of God, we beseech thee to hear us. O Lamb of God, that takest away the sins of the world, have mercy upon us. O Lamb of God, that takest away the sins of the world,